How's it going gamers? This is Lance and today I'm going to showcase to you guys Game Vroom. Now with this, this app allows you to play your Steam games in VR. When you think about it, why is it that you have to play this in VR when you could just do it normally? Well, I'm going to explain that to you. When it comes to playing in VR and you're immersed into the world that you are playing, depending on any type of social apps you play, the fact of having that presence next to you, which is just basically a regular avatar, sitting, talking, showing their expressions by whatever hand movements or just moving the controller, just that feel gives you that nice presence of somebody next to you. Not everybody has that opportunity, nor do they have the time, but if they do, this would be the best app to go for. Right now it's in early access, so it's still in the works, but if you are interested in doing an early access, it is $10. And with that, you are able to try out the app and give feedback to the developers so they can improve on it before the full launch of this app. So let's dive into it and I'll show you guys exactly what this app is all about. So here we are in Game Room. And as you can see here, this is just your basic average virtual environment that you can play your Steam games or other apps in here. Here are the virtual controllers in my hands, as you can see here, which allows you to actually play your games with instead of using a gamepad. Now, in my opinion, as much as this is a great feature to have when it comes to being away from your computer and you can probably do it from anywhere and using these controllers as your gamepads, it wouldn't be too bad. I'll get to that later. Let me show you around. So these are the three environments that they have so far. This is the apartment, which I of course showed you a giant couch, stairs, two giant windows. There's probably, and let's move this for a second. No chimney. Hmm. Should have been a fireplace over there, but that's just me. All right. But with that said, that's this environment. Then we got the space yacht. Here we have is the space yacht. Let's see what's in front of us. I guess that's the front dock, ocean, islands. And then around us, we got a flamingo floaty. And it looks more of a spaceship than a yacht, but okay, that's where the engines come in. And then we got our little butler or, or bartender, actually, sorry, <clears throat> bartender with some smoothies and such. And then, of course, we have the void, which you have nothing to distract you just always what's in front of you, which is not bad, especially if you want that kind of space. So let's go back to the apartment. Okay, so let me throw one thing. Eventually, they're going to probably add this if more users talk about it. But once you launch, you're basically stationed in this spot. This is basically where you are put. And in my opinion, it's fairly off in my opinion because if i want to be on the couch at least i can have this big old space you know not being in the way but that again these are just it's still early access this is just stuff that could be thrown in later on so hopefully that will get fixed all right so here is the list of games now these are just the games that are installed onto my steam library so all of this including vr games is installed and you just launch them from here now, I prefer that you do launch them in here because then the app works a lot better. You are able to launch it using the desktop in front of you. But like I said, it's better if you do it through here because that's how they made this functionality work. Now, here's what creates this game to be unique. The layout. With this layout, you are capable of customizing your controllers to function well with the game that you are playing on screen. So if you're basically all keyboard and mouse, here are all the functionalities that you will configure on your controller to work with the game, which I will eventually demonstrate. And then if you have a gamepad, you can switch to gamepad and then make sure you are on the particular number, either players one, two, three, or four, and then you will configure it as well to function for that app. Right now we're just going to have a clean slate. 
So this is everything that's all clean. This here is the virtual button. Now, if you have no buttons on here that you cannot function because in truth, you only have the grip button, the trigger button, B, A, Y, X, the analog stick, including the push. And I don't think you can really customize the home button and the menu button on this because I think that will kind of mess things up. So I don't know why it's shown, but I guess for visual sakes, because you want to know uh, if you need to adjust or realign yourself. All right, let's continue. Of course, this is multiplayer as well, so you can invite friends over, depending on which region you are. Of course, this is North America. And of course, if they have it on a public room, you will see a public listings on the bottom here. You just click on join and you join in the room. If not, you can host, you can create a private. There's your room code to pass it to your friend, host it, and then anybody can join or click here. And it's publicly with the title on here for the description and they can join in any time. Of course, the tutorial is just a tutorial. You start it, you listen, it'll give you a basic rundown of how this game works. Plus, it also has a Discord link so you can join in and give feedback to the developers so they can improve on this app for anybody's good use. So let's play the, some games and let's actually show you how this works. All right, I'll just do Among Us because Among Us is pretty basic with controls. And then you can see the functionalities. So I'm just going to pop up my game list like I did and hit play, which then should launch on the screen. All right. As you can see here, this is Among Us. We all know this. But knowing the fact that I just started a, uh, the application on here, I got to configure it in order for me to function. As you notice, the game mode is not lit up. And this is where you kind of click the edit mode if you want to edit out your configuration. So. Let's edit this. I open up my layout. And of course, I don't have the game pack. So this is just going to be using keyboard and mouse. So right here is grabbing the mouse, and I'm going to set it to the grip. Right now, it's still not lit up because they want me to add more. All right. Well, we know WASD is basically the basic functionalities of up, down, left, right. So this is where I click on it. And then I just move any direction I want the keys to be. So right now I got my up, down, left, right. And every time you mess with it in edit mode, you can see the actual controllers moving as well as the function functionality of what it's supposed to do. Now my game mode is lit up, which is good. So before I do that, let me click on this for my A button. Now this is the left click for the mouse. So now that I got that function, I can now enter in Among Us. Now, if I hold the grip button, slide across, you can see that my mouse is showing and I am able to control it using the controller. All right. So hit A, that's left click. Now, the only, oh, I got it on pointer, it seems. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, continuing, yes, you can have the option of putting it as a laser pointer, so that way you're not holding the grip button. Or if you actually prefer not to put it as a laser pointer, you just use the grip button. All right, that's interesting that it converted to that and I didn't even do anything. All right, so well, let me just do free play. All right, so we are in just free play. And as you can see here, I am capable of moving around using my virtual controller as my gamepad or keyboard and mouse since it's simulating a keyboard. And I'm able to go around and do my task just using the functionalities it deserves. So likely since, again, I am using mouse and keyboard, I have to literally move the mouse on here and do my downloads and all that stuff. But as you can see here, the comfort of it, of you being able to configure your controllers to do what it needs is basically the best feel 
of what this app is giving you. The fact that you're capable of functioning without having to go and get your PlayStation controller or Xbox 360 or Nintendo Switch Pro. Now, I want to address the fact that if you configured your controllers on a game that you already played previously and you come back to here, your files or your configurations load up with the game. So as you can see here, it's still the WASD. It's still loaded. There's nothing in my gamepad, so that's fine. But the fact is, it still saves your loadout. You don't have to really do too much, and that's fine. Okay, so we have our loadout. As you can see, I'm moving buttons. And we're going to try to configure this so it's a lot easier for me to play Fall Guys using VR controller. Let's go into edit mode. And we can actually use the gamepad feature for this. So let's do that. I'm going to delete everything from the Waz, including the mouse. So you want to make sure everything is cleared. So now everything's cleared. You have nothing on your left or your right controller. Now let's go over everything on the gamepad. We all have one. Now this is pretty easy. Boom. Right stick, boom. So when you hit the sticks and you just move the analog stick, it'll know that, oh, it's this configuration. You don't have to do anything with the up, down, left, right, unless you're doing the directional buttons. That's for other apps. And here we are going and going. So right now, as you can see, I'm able to move. I'm going to jump. Boom. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I do not have... Oof. Okay, I thought I was going to be flung over. Uh, I don't have any latencies whatsoever. It's actually very fluent, just like if he was looking at a screen. Oof. Come on, you beans. Oh, gosh. Did I just see Sandy from uh, SpongeBob? I was just... Well, it's been a long time since I've been in the season, as you can see. I, I haven't played this game in a long time. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'll do it one more time. It's a risk, but I'll do it one more time. Ooh, perfect. And we could dive. Ooh, I qualified. Oh my gosh. That is scary. So that's basically game room. And as I said before, this is just an early access. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be improved. So if you do feel the generosity to assist the developers in this project in order for them to improve on this app, by all means, go to Steam, spend the $10 and assist them in this project. Overall, I feel like they definitely have a long way to go in a lot of features that they could add in the future. Hopefully down the road, they may make it a standalone to the Quest 2 headsets, Quest Pro as well, or the Pico, which then they can actually let people join in other people's room that are hosting and playing games so they can be able to play games with them. But like I said, this is an early access, so there's a long process. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm Lance Akira, and I'll see you guys another time.